Okay, boys and girls, this is lesson 6.5. We're uh, working on percent. Um, let me just move this over here. Okay, so it says Anna makes $120 each month to sell. This, uh, this month she increases uh, by 30%. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. We're going to take the 120. Let me make this a little darker. Um, we're going to take 120 because that's how many dollars she has to sell, and she increases it. So she increases by 30%. So there's a few ways to do this problem. One way is to multiply it by 30%, um, which you know is either 30 over 100 or 0 0.3. Um, either way would work. And we're going to get 36 as our answer. So she increases it by 36. However, we want to know how much does she do in the whole month. So we're going to have to add the 120, which is the original, plus the 36. There's another way to do this too, is if you take 120 and we multiply it by, well, we want the total for everything. So if you remember, we're going to add a 1, so it's 1.3, because that's actually 130%. If you do that, you'll get your final answer. So either way would work. Um, let's look at another one. So uh, let's look at number two. It says last year Chantel bought a car for twenty-four thousand. The current value of the car is twenty-one thousand. Find the percent decrease. So we're going to go it, decrease means to go down. Okay. So what we're going to do is we could do a couple things. One thing is I need to find out how much to decrease by. So we look at twenty-four thousand and we look at twenty-one thousand, and you should be able to figure out that it decreased by. It decreased by three thousand dollars. So I look at the $3,000 and I say, okay, I need to figure out the decrease of that. So I'm going to write a, a little equation. So it went for, we have 24000 which is the original price, times the percent decrease will equal the decrease, and the decrease is 3000 So it's going to equal 3000 And it's, I have a hard time fitting it in there, but that's 3000 so if you remember, we're going to set this up, and I'm going to put a variable there for our percent because I don't know what the percent is. So if I have a variable there and we're multiplying by the variable, you should know that we're going to divide. So once you divide, you should be able to figure out the percent decrease. Okay, so for the next one, it says Samantha has uh, had 75 necklaces to sell. By the end of the first week, there were uh, 57 left, and by the end of the second, there were 38 left. So we have to find the percent in decrease in the number of necklaces by the end of the first week. Okay, to start with. So let's look at this. So in, she started with 75. At the end of the first week, she had 57. So she went down by subtracting. You're going to get 18. So we have to find the decrease there. So if she started with 75, we times it by, I don't know what the decrease is because the percent, because that's what we need to figure out, so I'll put a variable, is going to equal 18. Oops. So you're going to need to figure that out. You, again, solve for the variable. Second one says find the percent uh, decrease in the number of necklaces from the end of the first week to the end of the second week. Okay, well, at the end of the first week, she had 57. The end of the second week, she had 38. So it's the same type of problem. You need to find the difference first. That will give you the, the number that it went down by. Then we're going to take 57, because it goes from the sec first week, end of the first week, to the second week, times it by, we don't know the percent, because that's what we're trying to figure out, is going to equal whatever this answer is. And then again, you're going to solve for n. Okay, last problem. Um, it says the side length of a square is 30 centimeters, so I'm going to write 30 on one side, and you should know that all sides are 30 then because it's a square. It says if the length is increased, um, the length of the side sorry, is increased by 20%, find the percent increase in the entire area. So the first thing that you really should do is figure out the area of the square. So to figure out the area, you should know that it's area equals length times width. And I have the length, and I, I have the length here, and I have the width here. So that will give me the total area. So the area is going to be 30 times 30. You should be able to figure that out pretty easily. That's going to be 900. So that's the original square is 900. If the sides are increased by 20%, now we need to find the percent increase in the area. Okay, so we got to find the sides first. So the side is going to be 30 
times it increases by 20%, which I like to do 1.2 because that will give me my new side. So this is going to be the new side right there. When I get that new side, I have to figure out the new area. So the area is going to be area. It will be whatever the new number is times the new number. And that will give me the new area. Well, what I need to do is find the percent increase. So let me just uh, erase a couple things real quick to give me more room. So the old area equals 900. The new area, which I'm not giving, you have to figure it out, is whatever we figured out uh, from the new sides. So it includes the new sides. Multiply the new sides together, that will give you the new area. You need to subtract that because that will be your increase. So what we're going to do then is you take your old area times it by, we don't know what the increase is, the percent equals this new, um, the, 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 the difference between the new area and the old area. So this is going to be the difference between the new area minus the old area. So we'll call this uh, the, well, I should just call it difference. Let me just erase that. So it would be the difference between the two areas. Now whatever that number is, again, look, we have 900 times n, so you should know that you need to um, solve for n, and that will give you your uh, percent.